Welcome to this video where we'll shed light on the importance of behavioral interviews in the hiring process at leading tech companies. In this competitive landscape, it's not just about your technical prowess. It's also about how you solve problems, make decisions, and adapt to change. These skills are often the differentiators that can propel you to the forefront of the candidate pool. Behavioral interviews allow interviewers to delve into your past experiences, to understand how you've handled various situations. They're not looking for hypothetical responses, but real-life examples that demonstrate your abilities in action. They want to know how you've faced challenges, what your thought processes were, and how you've learned from these experiences. In essence, these interviews are about demonstrating how your past behavior predicts your future performance. They're your opportunity to showcase your skills beyond what's written on your resume. To ace these interviews, a method called the STAR approach can be very effective. Let's delve into it. The STAR approach begins with the situation. This is where you set the stage for your story. The situation is the backdrop against which you've showcased your skills or qualities. It's like the opening scene of a movie, where the director sets the context. In this case, you're the director and the lead actor. Imagine you're describing a specific event from your professional journey. This could be a challenging project, a tight deadline, or an unexpected hiccup that threatened your team's progress. The situation is your opportunity to paint a vivid picture for the interviewer. But remember, while detail is important, it's also crucial to be concise. An overly long setup can distract from the main show, your actions and the results that followed. The situation gives your story a context. But what were you supposed to do in that situation? What was your mission? That's what we'll discuss next. The task forms the second part of the STAR approach. This is where you define your responsibility in the situation. So, what exactly is the task aspect? It's here that you get to lay out the specific responsibility or challenge that cropped up within the situation you've described. Bear in mind your task isn't merely a routine chore but rather a pivotal role or a significant hurdle you had to overcome. Let's say you're a principal software engineer and your task could be designing a complex, scalable architecture under tight deadlines. Or if you're an engineering manager, your task might involve coordinating multiple teams to deliver a major project. The key here is to focus on tasks that led to substantial outcomes or demanded noteworthy skills. Be precise and concise but make sure your role and the challenge at hand are evident. Now that we know the situation and the task, it's time to discuss the action taken. Action is the third part of the STAR approach. This is where you detail what you did to address the task. Now we've set the stage with the situation and task, it's time to delve into the action. The action part of your response is your opportunity to shine, to demonstrate your problem-solving prowess and technical expertise. This is where you can get into the nitty-gritty of what you actually did. Did you lead a team, or did you develop a piece of code? Did you design a new system architecture, or did you implement a new agile methodology? It's crucial to be specific and focus on what you did, not the team or your manager. Remember, this is your interview. The interviewer wants to know about your actions, your decisions, your skills. Be careful not to get lost in the technical jargon. Keep it simple, clear, and focused. The action shows how you handle challenges, but what was the outcome of your actions? That's what we'll explore next. The result is the final part of the STAR approach. This is where you highlight the outcomes of your actions. It's here that you bring together all the elements of the STAR technique, tying the situation, task, and action into a neat bow with the result element. The result isn't just about what happened at the end. It's about the impact your actions had on the project, the team, or even the company as a whole. Did you meet the project deadline? Did your solution lead to an increase in productivity or revenue? These are the kind of outcomes you need to highlight. Wherever possible, try to quantify these results. Numbers can speak louder than words and they provide concrete proof of your achievements. Remember, the best results are those that contributed to the company's success. Mastering the STAR approach can significantly improve your performance in behavioral interviews. This approach helps you present your experiences and skills effectively, ultimately increasing your chances of landing your dream job at a top tech company.